Global Medic is the premier medical training exercise for multi-component, joint, and multinational medical units and personnel. Medical Readiness and Training Command hosts the exercise twice a year, once at Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, and once at Fort Hunter Liggett, California. The goal of the exercise is to challenge and develop Army and Joint Medical Units to deliver synchronized world-class expeditionary health care to meet global requirements in a complex environment. MRTC accomplishes this with the help of medical soldiers who observe, coach, and train units and personnel at Global Medic. Captain Ross Smith explains what the observer coach trainers from MRTC did for his unit, the 901st Minimal Care Detachment. They're valuable to help us, to guide us, to make sure that, you know, you didn't think about this, maybe update your SOPs, maybe train this a little, change this a little bit, just so we're medically ready, so when the time comes as a ready force unit, that we are able to hit the grounds running, be ready in 15 days to um, go wherever it is we're called. We want to be sure to show everybody that we are a trained unit. Sergeant First Class Carol Grinnell, from the same Fairmont, West Virginia unit as Captain Ross, was looking forward to coming to Global Medic when she first heard about it in the planning phases of annual training. I was very excited. It gives us a chance to um, train as we fight and to critique any gaps that, that may be there. And You can never train too much. It needs to be repetitive action, almost a muscle memory, and as always, communication is always needs worked on. You can never communicate too well. And One sailor, HM3 Maria Carranza, who worked with the Army Reserve personnel in the same field hospital for this exercise, talks about how realistic the training environment was. I mean, I never thought that it was going to be this real, and it really is. I mean, we have a fully functioning hospital that we put up in three days, and not only that, but we have patients coming through, and we are alert, and we are doing everything in our power to make this as real of an exercise as physically possible. And I didn't think that we were going to have real ambulances coming in or real patients with, you know, moulage makeup on to seem like they are really are wounded. And not only that, but being in teams that we are on our own taking care of these patients. You know, it's our decision, it's our learning, and we're doing an insane amount of trainings and learning things that even as me having a bachelor's degree, I haven't learned. And so it's the never ending expanding our knowledge and our skills. And I'm really proud to be a part of it. The more realistic we can make it for them, the better they're going to be um, if they encounter something like this in the actual like, c combat situation. From sister services to multinational service members, many took part in making the training successful to include one soldier from the British Army who joined Medical Readiness Training Command as an observer coach trainer. Corporal Sally Webster, an emergency nurse, shared her experiences on how the flow of exercises usually go for the units being trained. From our point of view, what we're trying to do is, is train them up so they can work together, draw out the information that they already know. They know how to do their jobs. What they don't know how to do at the moment is to put it all together so that it's a nice, smooth process, purely because they've not worked together before. With any, any exercise, it's always the same. The first day is a bit of a shakeout, and they just, they're just going to get better and better each day. Another OCT, Lieutenant Colonel David Lang, explains his role and also the effect the exercise had on the unit he observed. Well, we changed the unit. In other words, they're going to get better tactically. They're going to know what to do medically, their job's better, and, and they get a run through where they don't always get at home. So they get to set up their tents. They get to see the other pieces of the medical puzzle that they don't get to see at their home station and how they all fit and work together. Sergeant Brent Drost has supported Fort McCoy Global Medic Exercise for seven years. This year he is working in the effects and enablers cell, making the battlefield injuries seem all too real. He explains his focus for the training. I just feel that it's, it's great training and it improves every year and as we do it more every year we're learning ourselves on how to make it better for the training audiences. America's Army Reserve, through exercises like Global Medic, generates combat ready units and service members who are trained, equipped, and prepared to win our nation's wars. Reporting from Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, with the Army Reserve Medical Command, I'm Sergeant First Class Kenny Scott.